In this complete 2D Unity game development course, you will learn how to make a full Flappy Bird game. Start with creating a new 2D Unity project and set the aspect ratio to 9,16. You may have to click the plus button to manually add it. Next, add the graphic files to your project and drag them into your scene. Scale and position the bird and pipe. Add a box collider to the pipe. Duplicate the pipe and change the scale to flip it upside down and position it above the first one. Create an empty game object named Pipe Object and put the pipes inside. Create a new c -sharp script called pipe movement and open it. Add this code to the update function to make the pipe move continually to the left. In the editor, make sure the pipe object is selected and drag the pipe movement script to the pipe object inspector. Then move the pipe object off screen to the right. Drag the pipe object to your assets folder and delete it from the game scene. Create a new c -sharp script called pipe generator and open it. I'll add code to create a pipe object and timer. Then I'll add code to create pipes every 100 frames. The pipes are added with the instantiate method at a random height. Finally, I'll destroy the pipes after 5 seconds when they're off screen. Then I'll make sure this update function is called fixed update. Now, in the editor, create an empty object named pipe manager and drag the pipe generator script into it. Now drag the pipe object into the pipes field. Select the bird and add a circle collider 2D and update the size of it so it matches the bird. Next add rigid body 2D to the bird. Change the gravity scale to 1.7, the collision detection to continuous, and change interpolate to interpolate. Create another c -sharp script named player controller. I'll add code to control the bird and score. We'll get access to the bird and make it so the space button makes the bird jump. Now, back at the Unity project, edit Text Mesh Pro text and import the TMP essentials. Change the text to zero. In the game view, you can see the text. Center the text and position it at the top. Back in the player controller code, we'll import libraries for working with text and to help us restart the game. We'll get access to the score text and add to the score whenever a user jumps. Now we'll create an onCollision enter 2 d function that is called after any collision. The code in this function will restart the game. Now add the player control script to the bird and add the text to the score text field. To make the player lose if they go too high or too low, add another pipe and position it horizontally below the bottom of the screen. Add box collider 2 d and duplicate the pipe. Add the duplicated pipe above the top of the screen. Now we can test the game. This is pretty fun. Now you can add Unity Game Developer to your resume. Thanks for watching.